does have a few words of welcome. Yeah, so. I'm no, doing my class, good. So. So I'm just delighted to see people here today for this very um, unique opportunity. Uh, uh, my friend from uh, Ladakh, Kishi Sewan Dorje, is responsible for a large gompa and um, a school. There, the lights are on. Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> we are being filmed. <laughs> <clears throat> so today we're going to do our regular prayers and talk and also have a uh, Tara um, reading transmission. Um, here at Linesar, I'm particularly delighted to have a special Tara shrine with um, uh, a very unique Tara Madonna figure. <clears throat> so, uh, I do some symbolic things here that um, you wouldn't see necessarily in a um, traditional. So, I, I like it when uh, uh, teachers are here when we're both on the altar to give prostrations together. And that for me shows, I want to show people our solidarity and our friendship that we're Dharma brothers and we're in it together. Because fundamentally, Buddha Dharma is a friendship project, right? So we need Kalyana Mitras, we need spiritual friends. And I'm uh, delighted you had the opportunity to see um, uh, Geshe Me do full length prostrations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um not not everybody's as limber as Kishi Sewang, so <laughs> that's good. <laughs> can, can do can do so. Um so I should we do prayers first or do you want to do uh yeah, so let's let's start with uh seven line prayer. Seven line seven line prayer to Guru Rinpoche. to Shakyamuni Buddha. Teacher, foe destroyer, thus gone, fully and perfectly awakened Buddha, endowed with knowledge and good conduct, gone to bliss, know of the world, hounds and of ordinary beings to be tamed, supreme one, teacher of all gods and men, Buddha, foe destroyer, glorious victorious one, Shakyamuni, to you I pay homage, make offerings and go for refuge. Teacher, the destroyer, destroyer, thus gone, gone fully, fully and perfectly awakened Buddha, Buddha, endowed with knowledge and good conduct, gone to bliss, know of the world, helmsman of ordinary beings to be tamed, supreme one, teacher of all gods and men, Buddha, the destroyer, glorious victorious one, Shakyamuni, to you I pay homage, make offerings and go for refuge. Teacher, the destroyer, thus gone, Fully and perfectly awakened Buddha, endowed with knowledge and good conduct, gone to bliss, knower of the world, helmsman of ordinary beings to be tamed, 
Supreme One, Teacher of all gods and men, Uda, Foe Destroyer, Glorious Victorious One, Shakyamuni, to you I pay homage, make offerings, and go for refuge. When you, Chief of Humans, were born, you took seven steps on this great earth, and you said, I am supreme in this world. To you who are wise at that time, I prostrate. Completely pure body, supremely fine form, ocean of wisdom like a golden mountain, thing that blazes in the three worlds. Supreme protector, to you I prostrate. Endowed with the supreme marks, a face like the stainless moon, a color like gold, to you I pay homage. The three worlds who are not like you, who is free from dust, matchless one, endowed with knowledge, to you I prostrate. Protector endowed with great compassion, omniscient teacher, field of ocean-like merits and good qualities, to the thus gone I prostrate. Through purity, free from attachment, through virtue, releases from the evil gone realms, unique, supreme, ultimate meaning, to the Dharma that brings peace, I prostrate. From freedom, teaching the path, while abiding in the pure trainings, holy field endowed with good qualities, to the Sangha also I prostrate. Homage to the Supreme Buddha, homage to the Dharma refuge, homage to the great Sangha, to all three ever devout homage, to all worthy of respect, bowing with bodies as many as all realms, atoms in all aspects, with supreme faith I pay homage. Do not commit any non-virtuous actions. Accumulate virtue and goodness. Subdue your own mind. This is the teaching of the Buddha. Like a star, a mirage, a lamp, illusions, drops of dew, bubbles, dreams, lightning and clouds. Look at all conditioned phenomena as such. Due to this merit, having attained the state of the all-seeing and thereby subduing the enemy of faults, may I liberate migrators from the oceans of existence, stirred by the waves of aging, sickness, and death. I take refuge in the Guru. I take refuge in the Buddha. I take refuge in the Dharma. I take refuge in the Sangha. I take refuge in the Guru. I take refuge in the Buddha. I take refuge in the Dharma. I take refuge in the Sangha. I take refuge in the Guru. I take refuge in the Buddha. I take refuge in the Dharma. I take refuge in the Sangha. I take refuge until I am enlightened in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. By the pause of potential I create by listening to the Dharma, may I attain Buddhahood in order to benefit all sentient beings. May all sentient beings have happiness and the causes of happiness. May all sentient beings be free of suffering and the causes of suffering. May all sentient beings be inseparable from the joyful happiness that is free from suffering. May all sentient beings abide in equanimity, free from holding some close and others distant. Respectfully, I prostrate with my body, speech, and mind. I present clouds of every type of offering, actual and imagined. I confess all my negative actions accumulated since beginningless time and rejoice in the virtuous actions of all ordinary and noble beings. Please, Buddha, remain as our guide and turn the wheel of Dharma until samsara ends. Through the merit created by myself and others, may the two bodhicittas ripen, and may I attain Buddhahood for the sake of all sentient beings. This offering I make of a precious jeweled mandala, together with other pure offerings and wealth, and the virtues we have collected throughout the three times through body, speech, and mind. O oh, my masters, my yidams, and the three precious jewels, I offer all to you with unwavering faith. Accepting these out of your boundless compassion, please send forth waves of your blessings. Idam guru ratna mandala kam nirayatiyami. the heart of the perfection of Wisdom Sutra. I prostrate to the Arya Triple Gem. Thus did I hear at one time. The Bhagavan was dwelling on mass of vultures mountain on Rajagriha, together with a great community of monks and a great community of bodhisattvas. At that time, the Bhagavan was absorbed in the concentration on the categories of phenomena called profound perception. Also at that time, the Bodhisattva, Mahasattva, Arya, Avokiteshvara, 
looked upon the very practice of the profound perfection of wisdom, and beheld those five aggregates also as empty of inherent nature. Then, through the power of Buddha, the Venerable Shariputra said this to the Bodhisattva, Mahasattva, Arya, Avalokiteshvara. How should any son of the lineage train who wishes to practice the activity of the profound perfection of wisdom? He said that, and the Bodhisattva, Mahasattva, Arya, Avalokiteshvara said this to the Venerable Shariputra. Shariputra, any son of the lineage or daughter of the lineage, who wishes to practice the activity of the profound perfection of wisdom, should look upon it like this, correctly and repeatedly beholding those five aggregates also as empty of inherent nature. Form is empty, emptiness is form. Emptiness is not other than form. Form is also not other than emptiness. In the same way, feeling, discrimination, compositional factors, and consciousness are empty. Shariputra, likewise, all phenomena are emptiness, without characteristic, unproduced, unceased, stainless, not without stain, not deficient, not fulfilled. Shariputra, therefore, in emptiness, there is no form, no feeling, no discrimination, no compositional factors, no consciousness, no eye, no ear, no nose, no tongue, no body, no mind, no visual form, no sound, no odor, no taste, no object of touch, and no phenomenon. There is no eye element, and so on, and up to, and including, no mind element, and no mental consciousness element. There is no ignorance, no extinction of ignorance, and so on, and up to, and including, no aging and death, and no extinction of aging and death. Similarly, there is no suffering, origination, cessation, and path. There is no exalted wisdom, no attainment, and also no non-attainment. Shariputra, therefore, because there is no attainment, bodhisattvas rely on and dwell in the perfection of wisdom, the mind without obscuration and without fear. Having completely passed beyond error, they reach the end point of nirvana. All the Buddhas who dwell in the three, three times, times also manifestly, completely awaken to unsurpassable, perfect, perfect complete enlightenment, enlightenment in reliance on the perfection of wisdom. wisdom. Therefore, the mantra of perfection of wisdom, the mantra of great knowledge, the unsurpassed mantra, the mantra equal to the unequal, the mantra that thoroughly pacifies all suffering should be known as the truth, since it is not false. The mantra of the perfection of wisdom is declared. Tayata gate gate paragate parasam gate bodhi soha. Repeat 20 times silently. Tayata gate gate paragate parasam gate bodhi soha. Shariputra, the bodhisattva, mahasattva, should train the profound perfection of wisdom like that. Then the Bhagavan arose from that concentration and commended the bodhisattva, mahasattva, Arya, Avalokiteshvara, saying, Well said, well said, son of the lineage, it is like that, it is like that. One should practice the profound perfection of wisdom. Just as you have indicated, even the Tathagatas rejoice. The Bhagavan having thus spoken, the Venerable Shariputra, the Bodhisattva, Mahasattva, Arya, Avalokiteshvara, those surrounding in their entirety, along with the worlds of gods, humans, Asuras, Gandharvas, were overjoyed and highly praised at that spoken by the Bhagavan. To fulfill the needs of all beings at their various levels of understanding, we request and to turn the wheel of dharma, including the lesser, greater, common, and extraordinary approaches. Yeah,
Thank you. Gishala, please turn the Dharma for us. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank <clears throat> oh yeah, very good morning, Lamala and all of the members. So, very, very good morning. Many, many Teshi <laughs> Yeah, so I'm very, very glad to see all of you here today. Um, before 2019, right? 19, yeah, I came here. Yeah. Then somebody know me, and somebody don't know me, but I'm from Ladakh. <laughs> so, first, I do little bit in, introduce myself. Mm -hmm. uh, then today I give some the oral transmission of the 21 Taras because I saw this very special Tara, Tara temple is there. <laughs> so it's good. Yeah. Then, and then we are going to recite uh, Om Tari, Tu Tari, Tu Re, so you know, the mantra, we, we are all together. It's okay. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> actually, I am from Ladakh. Oh. Ladakh is, location is now in northern India. It's very close to uh, Tibet, eastern Tibet. So I live there, then I born there. Then I born 1966, so now I am 57. <laughs> yeah, then, yeah, so then when I was 14, I become monk. Then I went to Sarachay Monastery. Actually, I supposed to become monk when I was eight, very young age. But then I asked to my mother, my mother said, no, you cannot decide, you know, now you should wait another few years. So then my mom said like that, then I said, okay. So then I wait until 14. So then after 14, then my mind again wanting to become monks. So I saw, so there's, you know, so many, you know, little boys become monks. So then I thought I want to. So then I, I decide. Then I asked my mother, and then my mom says, okay, up to you. <laughs> 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 yeah, actually there's so many, you know, the uh, little, little boys, they become monks when they are seven, eight. Yeah, so a lot of the cause of condition there, but, uh, but then, then I decide. Then I met some of the Tibetans master. He came to Ladakh. Then he said, you would like to go to Zara Monastery? And then you can join. Then you go there with me and you study this the Tibetan, you know, the Buddhism. But actually, it's, you know, we practice Tibetan Buddhism, but I don't know what is the Tibetan Buddhism that time. Really, I have no attention to, I'm becoming a geisha, you know, geisha or master, I don't know. That time I don't know, but I stayed there a long time. Then finally, we started to, to study, you know, Panjapramida, Madhya Meka. Then I know, you know, after two, three years later, then I know, oh, now we have to start, you know, study these five major, you know, this, uh, a subject like we call the Uma, Istamadya Mega, Parchi in the Panjapramita, Namde in the Parmana, Vinaya, yeah. then 
also Abhidharma Kokya. So then I start one by one. Then I stayed in the monastery around 20 years, from 1979 to 99, in the stay in the monastery, study. Not only study, so during the stay in the monastery, I received so many uh, teaching, you know, like a Lamrim teaching, you know, some initiation, the tantric teachings, uh, so many initiations I received from our own guru and his holiness Dalai Lama, and that time so many Tibetan scholar and master live in the monastery. They give all the times they give us teaching. Then also sometimes we are doing, you know, the practice, mm, Lamrim practice, the mind training practice. Yeah, so then usually, you know, uh, most of times when we are a child, we lot of memorize, you know, memory, have to memorize this textbook for a long time, textbooks. Then also, <laughs> uh, uh, also we have the debating class. So then all the times we have should go to this, receive some teachings, you know, to go to the class, then except, except uh, Tuesday. Tuesday is like a Sunday. <laughs> yeah, Sunday is free. So holiday in monastery, you know, there no Sunday. On the Tuesday, some monastery Tuesday, some monastery is Monday. Yeah. So then uh, Tuesday we are free. So then except Tuesday, the every evenings we are going to the discussion class, you know, the debating class. This is our main main class. So all so many monks gathering and together. So specialists, you know, I have maybe around 50 or 60 uh, classmates. So all the time we are discussing, you know, the topics, the different topic. Yeah, sometimes logic, sometimes Tanjaparamita, sometimes Madhyamika, sometimes Lamrim, you know, sometimes mind training, sometimes you know, Shamada, but a lot of, so, you know, so the, uh, we are discussing and staying together and debating also. So this is. Then, then slowly, slowly, uh, 1999, uh, oh, I, I, I start to uh, join, you know, the Gilukpa examinations. You know, the old Sarah, Jibun, Kadens, monks come together before becoming Geshe. So we have a, a six year, very difficult uh, examinations. That means, you know, very difficult, you know, so we don't know what's, what's question coming, what asking, you know, so very difficult. So then, you know, I start, you know, 1994, 94, 95, 96, 7, 8, 9, right? So two years that we call the Karampa, two years the Lopun, and two years in the Larampa. So finally, I got the Gishis uh, uh, Larampa degree. <laughs> Actually, you know, the Larampa status is very high, but I'm not so that high, but I get the chance to do this practice and studies. So then after I join, uh, I become the Geshe, then I join to the Gimbe Monastery to study the Tantric. Then also, after that, you know, I fly. <laughs> then I travel a lot. Then I go to Nepal. Then I keep teaching over there three weeks, uh, three years. Then after I back to the Sarachi, then again, you know, uh, I give some teaching. Then mm, that stay two years. Then after I come back to the Ladakh, then the United States, so many places to meeting with the people. Yeah. So actually, it's, I'm quite busy, busy monk. You know, monkey monk. <laughs> so, so all the times he, you know, jumping somewhere. So, but really, you know, I have a, I got a great chance during this the pandemic times, 2020 and 21s. You know, I never been anywhere. All the times I stay in our temples, so I get a very good chance to do this mundo practice. So, mundo. 
the preparations, you know, the, our practice. So I'm going to practice the during the stay, uh, during this 2020 and 21s, really, you know, I get very, very good luck and a very good chance to do this practice, especially, you know, hundred, hundred thousands, you know, the mantra, I recited like a 300,000 Om Tari to Tari And then also Om Mani Padme. Then, you know, not complete, actually should have complete, maybe 100,000 prostration, but a little obstacle that I get six, I could not finish all, but at least I done around the 40,000. <clears> then, you know, I get very good chance to offerings the hundred thousand bowls, water bowl offering in our temple. Then also hundred thousand the flower in our temple. Yeah. Then also <clears throat> so last 2020 I started offering the uh, butter limb. So this just recently in it you know few days before just complete 500,000 butter lamb in our temple. Yeah, then also I do sur offering. So many, many actives during the stay in the temple. So I'm very happy. So this is my first time visit after this uh, uh, pandemic. Yeah, actually I visit to uh, Europe two times already, but this is my first time come to United States. And really I'm happy to join all of you and uh, really sharing my knowledge with my uh, the broken English or what? <laughs> Hope so you understand my English. Yeah. <laughs> so so yeah. So like this. So so this time just I'm uh, I'm traveling to many places, but not rush as the before before I lead the tour. So that all the time I'm very rushed to time to time reach there, time to, to go there, you know. So this time I have a more relaxed. So just meeting with the peoples and talking with peoples and listening from the peoples, sharing my views, yeah, just enjoying and, you know, spending life you know, happy with other peoples. So this is my purpose to come to the United States. So, yes, yeah, so then Lamala and I discussed, so Lama is very kind, you know, so he, you know, sometimes he called me uh, on Sunday morning, the before your class, he always calling me and we are chatting, sometimes very good topic. <laughs> <laughs> So, so I'm very happy. So I feel very happy, Lamala and all of the Sangha of this uh, uh, singing or the center. Really, I'm happy. Hmm? So today, what we're doing, so i reading, I give the oral transmission of the 21 Tara, press up. <laughs> Maybe, are you reciting in English or 21 Tara? Yeah, we do in, in English. Yeah. Okay. So I do in uh, Tibetan, you know. So this is, I got this oral transmission from one of the great master from the Mongolia. Maybe Gishi Tamjo no, you know, the Mongolian Gishi. Mm. Gishi Singala is very, very famous. Really, he's the ex abbot of this uh, Serache in Tibet. So he's one very, very scholar. He came to Serache and he gave this oral transmissions. So actually, you know, I'm like practicing Tara a lot. So I have a small statue from 1982. I'm always uh, being with the statue anywhere I go. Mm. So, you know, Tara is very, very, very specialist. You know, I bleed too much. <laughs> Tara, yeah, I feel, you know, if I pray to Tara, it's a really, you know, benefit the, the removing obstacles. You know, then uh, uh, of the long life. So it's very, very blissful. Especially I do this green tara practice. So all the time I'm reciting Om Tari to Tari Turi Soha. Yeah, so just 
I give you some oil. We call the oil transmission. So oil transmission is, you know, I received this transmission from my root guru. Then he's received, you know, this come from this uh, uh, Buddha Shakyamuni. So just, uh, if you like to recite all the times, then you receive some, uh, the oral transmission is more benefit, you know, so it's more powerful, you know, this is unusual. Yeah, we thought, we thought uh, oral transmission and with the oral transmission is very, very different. So, so you, you got some oral transmission, we call the lung or teeth, commentaries or the lung you know, oral transmission, this is very, very different. You get more energy and you get more powerful. So this is the uh, purpose of the giving this oral transmission. Yeah, so just, I'm going to reciting, okay? Om, Om Jizuma, uh, 21 place up to the again, 21 Taras. Okay. <clears throat> Sangue, giorno, 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 Singing Mandala Kamaya Daya means. Okay, now I'm going to recite this all. No. A praise out of the uh, 21 Tara. Okay. Oh, I'm the Nanaya Najone, and the Ninjang Golden Doji, over me, you will like to do something to me, and the Makoshi, yes, also, Lana Lame Jimmy, Shaggy Pamela, and the Nan Pompa Golander, Jamai Machata, on
Chazavenangi Tene Oh yeah, thank you. <clears throat> so now we, okay, you repeat uh, me uh, three times. Om Tari, Tu Tari, Tu Risa, okay, three times. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> Om Tari, Tu Tari, Tu Risa, Soha, Om Tari, Tu Tari, Tu Risa, Soha, Om Tare Tare Tutare Tutare Ture Ture Soha Soha Okay mm. so actually when you know this what is the Tara no we say in Tibetan say uh, Tara is the mother of the old three times Buddha and Bodhisattva we call you know, Tuzum Sangye, Tuzum means three times. And you know, a past Buddha and future Buddha and um, uh, uh, present Buddhas, we call. You know, I, I tell you a little bit about this Tara story, you know. Mm. So many, many the, before the Buddha Shakyamuni's times, maybe Sangye Kasapa times, you know, uh, there's one uh, female, you know, lady, I don't know this name, but so he created a lot of fortune, especially she offerings like the food, you know, dana to that times and Buddha and Bodhisattva, you know, then really, you know, that times Buddha Kasapa and all. The Arahat, you know, the Buddhist Buddha and Bodhisattva, very, very appreciate that lady. So then they, everybody's, you know, in Christ to her. Now you should pray the next life. Uh, you become the, the human, especially the man. So then you can do more and practice. So then Tara said, oh, I don't want to become, you know, uh, men you know? so i can uh, enlighten i can uh, enlighten and practice my female uh, female uh, how to say female form so that otherwise you know the people after you should pray become a male form then you can do more benefit 
but she she, she did it. No, I don't want to become you know the male form. So I want to, yeah, this this like this you know female form. You know, so I can do the benefit of many many uh, sent sentence beings. So he promised with his uh, uh, the Buddha Kasapa. So after then, uh, she Tara form is always uh, you know the female forms. So for example, some Chinese form is the female and more male also. Buddha, some some part of Buddha is the female, some of male. So Tara is all the time so, uh, the female. So this she promised uh, with the Buddha Kasaba still until now, no? So she benefit for many sentient beings on uh, her uh, female form. Then yeah, so that way Tara is very, very kind and really it is very, uh, you know, when we do the Tara practice, it is very easy and it is very blissful, you know, the very quick, very quickly and blissful. So, and so then Tara is to be called also the white Tara. We say the white, actually it's the 21 different uh, form of Tara. We can we say the white tara, green tara, and yellow and red, you know. So also the blue, also we have, you know. So many, uh, many forms, you know, many different tara. At least you know twenty one tara is there. But most of the Tibetan community of the Nalanda traditions, they recite, you know, the green tara practice, green tara, and also the white tara. So we say the white tara for you know long life, and you know the green tara is the like a, a removing obstacles you know removing the problems reforming removing this suffering so that you know the tara mantra is om you know om tare tu tare ture soha you know om tare tu tare ture soha so this is sanskrit word you know, somebody say, oh, I am reciting Tibetan mantra. <laughs> I think that this is not Tibetan mantra. This is Sanskrit mantra. You know, Om Mani Pema Ho, it is in Sanskrit. Om Muni Muni Soha, is, it is in Sanskrit. You know, Om, Om Tari Tutare, it is Sanskrit, not, it is not in Tibetan. But you know, the Tibetan people or Tibetans, uh, they used to recite in the Sanskrit. You know, they feel, you know, the Sanskrit world is more precious than the Tibetan world. So that way, you know, the Tibetan always reciting, you know, the Sanskrit mantra. So Om Mani Padme Hum, you know. They are, we call, you know, people, you know, most of Tibetan reciting Om Mani Padme Hum. Then they feel, oh, this is the Tibetan mantra. No, this is not Tibetan mantra. This is Indian mantra. <laughs> this is Sanskrit word. Okay. So Om Tari Tu Tari. Yeah, actually, there's the ten, ten different words. Om Tare Tu Tare Turi Soha. So, so, so Om, Om, Om is the rep represent of this uh, Tara body, speech, and mind. You know, so when you recite the Om, you know, that terms uh, you should utilize, you know, the Tara's body, speech, and mind. Then Om Tare, right? Tare means koale dul tarima. That terms uh, may all senses being free from the, you know, the uh, 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 samsara, you know, sickly existence with samsara problems. You know, om tare means, you know, may all senses being free from the samsara. Om tare. Om tare du tare. You know, du tare is may all senses being free from this. Uh, or to the regular, uh, fear, you know, fear. So many people got, you know, the fear and the tensions, a lot of, you know, so a lot of fear in this world also, not in humans. You know, all, you know, the sentient beings, all, you know, this uh, humans and, you know, the, in this planet, you know, who lives, a lot of, they got a lot of the fear. So the, we call, you know, may all sentients be free from the, Fear, koali do tari mo tu tarai jiki do. Tu re nao nao lan dro, om tari tu tarai tu re, you know, 
Thure means all sin is being free from the sickness, right? Somebody got this physical problem, somebody got the mental problems, you know, everybody got some problem, you know, some side, you know, so said, I'm very happy. And they're just saying, I'm very happy, but sometimes they got the physical problem. Sometimes, oh, I'm my physical, you know, my body is very perfect, you know, <laughs> but sometimes they got uh, inside problem. So everybody got this problem. So when we do some tari to tari tari soha, that time uh, we should think uh, may all sentences be from the, uh, the uh, sickness. Okay, so that way, you know, His Holy Dalai Lama in Christ many times and uh, during this pandemic times, you know, the, when this corona comes, His Holy is always in Christ to the people reciting, recite Om Tare, Tu Tare, Turi, Soha. Really, it helps to how do they remove obstacles. It helps to, you know, remove, you know, the fear. You know, it helps to remove this sickness. So especially like this corona. So so that way, you know, so myself also I decided hundred and hundred thousands uh omtari uh, tutari soha and also still going to reciting omtari tutari soha. So if you got you know the specialist program a uh, problem, so that you try to recite omtari tutari soha. If you are not not happy, you try to um, recite Om Tari Tu Tari so. okay? If you are really, you know, sometime, you know, going to depression, so you try to recite Om Tari Tu Tari so. Sometimes when you got, you know, the tensions, you know, the many problems arising, you try to recite Om Tari Tu Tari Tu Tari so. so definitely, you know, the mother Tara, we call the mother, you know, the mother Tara, mother Tara, you know, Galim, you know, mother of this Buddha and Bodhisattva. So we call the mother Tara, you know, why we call mother, you know, mother always helps to the children, right? Mother always take care of this, uh, uh, children. So this, you know, the, you know, mother Tara, Tara have a big responsibility, this universal, and specialists like us. So that we, we, we call mother Tara. So we go, we are praying to the mother. So specialists, when we get the problem, so when we share with mother, so we feel very happy, like, doesn't it? Whatever we thought, you know, something wrong or good feeling or bad feeling, when we share with the mother, this is a specialist feeling, isn't it? It's very, very helpful, you know? So same legs, you know? So whatever, you know, the problem, you know, is mm, going to solve through the blessing from this mother Tara. So then we are reciting Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Soha. Okay. So when you recite Om Tare Tu Tare Soha, Om. Okay. Om. Let them usual things, you know. Tara, you know, bodhis from the Taras, Mother Taras, body speech mind from a hard body speech mind uh, from Heart body is coming some blessings. Come to yours, body, speech, and mind. Then Om Tare, may all senses being free from the, you know, this universal problem, or the secondly exist problem, you know, the samsara problem. So now we have a lot of samsara problem, yeah. A universal problem, yeah. So the, when you recite Om Tare, that time you should, uh, Consider or the or may all sentences be from this or uh, samsara problem. Then after om tare tu tare, then you should uh, consider or uh, may all sentences be from the fear. Okay, actually it's the different fear. We call the eight fears, but it's not important. You know whatever fear like attention, you know the problems. Then uh, next, you know. May all sentences be free from the, you know, the illness or the sickness. Yeah, some somebody the physical sickness, somebody got the, you know, this uh, mental sickness, no more cure, you know. So, someone, you know, the some kind of the, you know, the sickness, 
you know, recovering through the practice, not only, you know, the medicines, right? You know, so some, someone going to, you know, someone going to take long-term medicines, you know, they take long-term treatments, but no more benefit, you know? So then, you know, this kind of this, this is, you know, the, how to say, reduce through the, like the practice, like a Tara practice, you know, some, some kind of this mind, the mindfulness practice, you know. So, if, for example, if you get, you know, a very big pain in your mind, so if you go to the doctor, maybe he gives some medicine and, you know, some injection or whatever, but it's not, you know, not benefit, you know, directly. So if you have a really very painful in the mind, is, you know, how to say, reducing, you know, this controlling uh, through this is the mind training, you know, is can, uh, uh, how to say, this kind of pain, you know, we can throw uh, the practicing like a mother Tara, the blessing also. So that way, you know, our community, we reciting a lot, you know, so we reciting Om Mani Padme Hum mantra many, then also we reciting Om Tare to Tare. Specialists in the Tibetan community or Himalayan community or Ladakh, you know, people all the time, you know, reciting some mantra. Yeah, so they receiving some blessing, you know. So this is very very important. So today we are also reciting Om Tare to Tare to So first we are going to reciting slowly slowly, then. We're going to faster, faster. Okay, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. If you can do, you know, the fold your hand is much better. We are all deciding all together. Okay. <clears throat> Om Tare Tudarai Ture
Taramandala, right? Uh, people that say, okay, I'm, I will come do 21 Taras uh, Monday morning. Or I think it's nice to do in the morning to start, right? So come in and, and put your chair cushion in front of Tar Shine and, and do. It goes pretty fast, actually, doesn't it? But um, maybe if we have a mandala of uh, like seven people, then they can rotate something like that. That would be a real wish of mine um, to carry it forward. <clears throat> um, so uh, I'll, I'll just tell a, a Tara story. So I, I have a Tara tattoo, but um, when uh, when I showed it to uh, Geshe Ujohan from Law Kansen, he said, um, that's great, but um, too low. Because I put it on my leg, you know, so I thought, <laughs> okay, <laughs> I can see, I can see where I'm doing. So uh, then he said, well, it, you should have put it up here by your heart. But I said, it's okay if you do uh, a million Tara mantra. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so uh I, I think I may have exceeded, you know, but um it's it's not hard to uh actually do um you know uh you know take time to do ten rounds a day, something like that, a thousand, right? You know. So if you have mala that's a hundred and eight, we usually count like a hundred because mm. you flubbed eight. So no, I'm just kidding, but you know, then <laughs> then you can uh, do you know all through all through the day like that, right? So that's really special. Um, since we have a little time, I I want to point out that um, Keshla will be here um, during the week, um, and we'll be doing a presentation on Nagari Institute on Thursday, correct? Yeah. So in addition to um, uh, building and uh, teaching and supervising in a gompa uh, monastery and temple, um, Geshe um, uh, took over the operations of a school. And we've been supporting that school um, over the last few years. Um, and Thursday, we'll have a slideshow and um, uh, more about it. But um, this is really important uh, for us because uh, our Dharma is not complete uh, if we're just doing the practice for ourselves. Um, <clears throat> we need, we're also practicing for others like that. Um, I think it's particularly, we can have pictures of, of the boys and girls that are going but uh, it's particularly important to practice uh, and dedicate and donate to people we may never see. Because lots of times we think, well, I, I want to I wanna see, you know, if it worked out for you, so I'll donate. But we, I, we may see when we do a pilgrimage to Ladakh, uh, but uh, it's good to say, I, I want to donate to children that um, I might know their names, but I'm just giving because I even never see them, right? It's amazing to do that. <clears throat> so uh, the other reason that I really like to have uh, more involvement with Nagar Institute, it's a good model for me how, um, uh, you know, Geshe-la, actually just a little formal, just so you know, a little ins and outs of Tibetan. I, I, I should be saying La Rampa Geshe. Yeah, so, you know, I was like, uh, uh, I know most of the protocols, but you just can't do everything in America, you know? <laughs> Geshe and I were talking about this, you know, like, I'm always thinking, like, what, what, what things will work and what things are too much? But, mm -hmm. you know, with uh, Geshe Sewang, for me, you know, the Rampa Geshe, you know, really, <laughs> really fit. So I'm just calling him out. So, but uh, how to do community work and involvement is something that Geshe is particularly strong in giving uh, to the whole community. So it isn't just like Dharma Club, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, we can learn from Geshe in supporting uh, children and students in the dock. It's, it's not an orphanage, it's a school, 
it's like a you know a real school <clears throat> and that that's a model for us to work in our communities here in sacramento we've we've done uh projects before like with wind youth group with um loaves and fishes right susan you know but um now that the pandemic's over uh you know i i want to broaden our uh, social services and our involvement uh, further out. Okay, so um, one of the ways we're doing that is through expressions, through um, inviting artists and people uh, that are interested in Dharma culture. I would call it and being kind and being helpful. You know, but not wouldn't necessarily define themselves as Buddhist or something like that. So we're inviting them in, but we also have to go out to the community. So. Um, I would like to see, you know, the Sangha here be representative of the community. Uh, I would like to see us uh, have like uh, a Spanish uh, language service, right, Jose? You know, we, we have an affiliate in uh, San Pancho. Uh, Miguel is doing things, uh, <laughs> and we have it in, San, in, in Spanish, right? So, um, and you know, I, we have to reach out more to the Hispanic community here, Black community here. Um, it can't just be Dharma Club. So we always have to be, uh, you know, a little bit like this. So when you're doing shamatha like this, but um, when when you're doing uh, real, real Dzogchen, then it's a little bit more like this, you see? You're like, like a leap. But there's a sense of like, ah, right? So we have to stretch out, you know, further to uh, uh, involve ourselves, to further, you know, uh, be representative of the community. What do you think? Good idea? If it's a good idea, raise your hand. Yeah. So it's, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be a stretch. And I'm asking for help from people I know in the various communities, you know, to do that. The video community too, right? <laughs> yeah, so like that. So uh Gesha is staying for lunch. So um we're we're people we have food, right? And um you know then hopefully uh what else? Maybe, maybe coming to a meditation even on Tuesday or Wednesday night, right? I'm I'm keeping a bit a little bit busy. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, guess is uh, also open to you know setting up uh, some um, interviews, right? So Patty will put that together. Yeah. Um, okay. So. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, one one reason I wanted to be up here on. Uh, thrown with Geshe is to show how close we are and that we're, uh, you know, on, you know, really on the same uh, Dharma path and that I really respect uh, his vision and, uh, you know, I, I do like I do like to call him Sunday mornings. <laughs> <laughs> the WhatsApp, you know, it's amazing. You hear like, it's on the dock, which is like, you know, just way out, right? Mm -hmm. We're just saying, hey, what are you doing? So, you know, I do look um, to Geshe for uh, inspiration and advice and to, you know, help uh, <laughs> Dharma people here, you know, so uh, it's really important in America, like, to not have, like, um, a solo teacher, okay? Um, even though the Buddha, you know, taught, uh, he had his senior students and other teachers helping out right the dharma is the ultimate refuge so uh we we geshe has been so here for us like geshe damchala here so there's uh it's a friendship model a team model right that's so important to build that which is why you know i'm i'm delighted that um people on the um corporate board get along so well and that's really super nice and um or giving of themselves and people that are on administrative level and people that have uh, taken refuge or even entering the path have Dharma jobs, right? Everybody should have a Dharma job, don't you think? <laughs>
so that that we want to expand the vision and uh, for me you know tara is that ever expanding a vision so a little bit of a stretch is what i'm uh, saying if we can have meditation uh, maybe tara 21 taras and just a little bit of shamatha every morning here we have seven seven people would volunteer that'd be good right then last announcement is um July 7th, uh, Clamal Charles and I are celebrating our birthdays together. We're going to do it at the Dante Club, and that's going to be um, everyone here is invited and your friends. And it's going to be a fundraiser so we can expand the garden and build a pavilion and make it more accessible to kids and neighbors. Okay. Who, who thinks they can come on July 7th, Friday? Yeah. Yeah, good. Me <laughs> all. <laughs> so, so we just slip it from Ladakh. Yeah, yeah. Please come. Yeah, we will have a Zoom. Yeah, it'll be Zoom. Okay, yeah, good. <laughs> so, uh, please uh, come to lunch if you can, and um, maybe have a. We didn't have a cut to line offering. Yeah. But let's do dedication also in English and long life prayers. <clears throat> yeah, so just listen, listen to the umze here. Dedication. Due to the merits of these virtuous actions, may I quickly attain the state of a Guru Buddha and lead all living beings without exception into that enlightened state. May the supreme jewel bodhicitta that has not arisen arise and grow, and may that which has arisen not diminish but increase more and more. In the land encircled by snow mountains, you are the source of all happiness and good. All powerful Chen Rezing, Tenzin Gyatso, please remain until samsara ends. May the teachings of the Buddha flourish, and may the upholders of the teachings remain forever. May all migrators achieve happiness, and may they fulfill all their temporary and ultimate goals. Lo Song, magical display of the deep awareness of all the victorious ones. Merciful giver of a stream of profound and vast instructions to the fortunate migrators, please remain always unperishing, unchanging, unfading. Avalokiteshvara, great, great treasure of objectless compassion, Manjushri, master of flawless wisdom, Vajrapani, destroyer of the entire host of Mars, Tsongkhapa, crown jewel of the snowy land sages, Losang Drakpa, I make request at your holy feet. Yeah, good. Thank you. So, Lamla, I have a kata for everybody. It's okay? Yes, yes. Yeah. So, uh, Gesha has, he has a kata for everybody. So, one, uh -huh. yeah. From Ladakh. From, from Ladakh. <laughs> so, this. Yeah, so, uh, usually, uh, usually people are offering katas to the Geshe's and Lamas, but here, like, <laughs> it, you know, it's very unique as going this direction oh. <laughs> and a blessing cord. <laughs> Geshe is saying this, this, the blessing, red blessing cord from uh, the Dalai Lama, and then we have. Uh, Let's see the card. So, 21 Taras with uh, seed syllable. Yeah. So, this is Lamla. Yes. So, this is for your station. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <to the chain. laughs> Here, call this. Yeah, that. Thank you. Thank 
Yeah, you can, uh, maybe you should have photo inside, whatever, what are the professionals saying? <laughs> inside photo? It's raining yeah. outside. Okay, right. then let's see inside. Photo. Oh, no. Photo, ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. good. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Um, I, I, I can be in the back. There's only tall people in the back, so I was thinking yeah. slide by on the back. Don't be Sorry. Do you guys even have the school here? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
Allah